Imagine this, the world consumes 2.25 billion cups of coffee every day. That's a lot of coffee, right? But have you ever wondered what happens to your body and liver when you drink even one cup of coffee? In today's journey, we're unraveling the mystery of coffee and its effects on our bodies, focusing particularly on the liver. Coffee, the magical brew that kicks us into gear every morning, has a profound impact on our health. From the moment it touches our lips to the time it's metabolized in our liver, coffee transforms us in ways we may not even realize. We'll delve into the science behind it, uncovering how this beloved beverage influences our body systems. So, are you ready to embark on this caffeinated exploration? If you are intrigued and want to know more, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into the world of coffee. Now, let's delve into the science behind how coffee influences your body. Imagine a typical morning, you're groggy, your eyelids are heavy, and your brain is moving at a snail's pace. In walks coffee, or more specifically, caffeine. This natural stimulant is the primary component of your beloved brew, and it holds the key to your morning transformation. Caffeine works its magic by stimulating your central nervous system. It's like a light switch that turns on your brain, waking you up from the inside out. The caffeine molecules make their way into your bloodstream, and in about 15 minutes, they reach your brain. Here, they pass the blood-brain barrier, a protective filter that keeps harmful substances out of your brain. Now in your brain, there's a neurotransmitter called adenosine. During your waking hours, adenosine levels rise, gradually making you feel more and more tired. But caffeine has a trick up its sleeve. It's a master of disguise, mimicking the structure of adenosine. So, when caffeine arrives in your brain, it slots into the adenosine receptors, blocking the real adenosine. This blockage prevents adenosine from making you feel sleepy, leading to increased alertness and energy levels. But that's not all. With adenosine out of the picture, other neurotransmitters like dopamine and glutamate can freely do their thing. Dopamine, the feel-good neurotransmitter, increases feelings of pleasure and happiness. Meanwhile, glutamate, the brain's primary excitatory neurotransmitter, boosts brain activity and cognition. So, thanks to coffee, you're not only awake, but you're also feeling good and thinking clearly. It's important to note, though, that everyone's response to caffeine can be different. Factors such as age, weight, and caffeine tolerance can influence how you react to a cup of joe. So, while some may experience a caffeine-induced surge of energy, others might feel jittery or anxious. So, that's how coffee can make you feel more energetic and alert. But what about its effects on your liver? Let's find out. When it comes to your liver, coffee can be a real game-changer. This might seem like an overstatement, but the scientific community has found compelling evidence to back it up. So, let's dive right into it. Numerous research studies have shown a positive correlation between coffee consumption and liver health. The protective effects of coffee on the liver are indeed intriguing. Now, you may be wondering, how exactly does coffee do this? Well, coffee is chock full of antioxidants, which help to reduce inflammation, a key player in many liver conditions. One such condition is cirrhosis, a disease characterized by scarring and poor function of the liver. Studies have found that regular coffee drinkers those who consume at least two cups a day have a significantly lower risk of developing cirrhosis. And it doesn't stop there. The benefits extend to reducing the risk of liver cancer as well. Now, let's talk numbers. In a study, researchers found that with every two cups of coffee consumed daily, the risk of liver cancer decreased by a staggering 40%. That's almost half. Similarly, the risk of cirrhosis dropped by nearly 44%. These are truly impressive numbers. But how does coffee achieve this? The answer lies in two main compounds found in coffee, caffeine and chlorogenic acid. Caffeine, as we all know, is a stimulant that helps us feel energized. But it also has antioxidant properties that may help protect against liver disease. On the other hand, chlorogenic acid can help slow the progression of liver disease. So, what's the takeaway here? It's simple. Coffee is not just a morning pick-me-up. It's a beverage that, when consumed in moderation, can have significant benefits for your liver. But a word of caution here. While coffee does have these potential benefits, it should not be used as a substitute for a healthy lifestyle. 
regular exercise, a balanced diet, and moderate alcohol consumption are still the primary ways to maintain a healthy liver. Isn't it amazing how a cup of coffee can do so much for your liver? But remember, moderation is key. While the benefits of coffee are impressive, it's crucial to acknowledge its potential downsides. As with many things, consuming coffee in moderation is key. Overindulgence can lead to a variety of negative effects. Let's delve into the darker side of our beloved brew. One of the most immediate effects of excessive coffee consumption is sleep disruption. Caffeine, the stimulant in coffee, blocks the effects of adenosine, a neurotransmitter thought to promote sleep. Drinking coffee late in the day can interfere with your sleep cycle, making it harder to drift off at night. This can lead to a vicious cycle of fatigue and increased caffeine consumption, affecting your overall well-being. Then, there's the issue of an increased heart rate. Caffeine stimulates the central nervous system, which can cause your heart to beat faster. While this might not be a problem for everyone, for those with underlying heart conditions, it could potentially lead to serious complications. Let's not forget the potential for dependence. We've all heard of the term coffee addict, and there's some truth to it. Caffeine is indeed a psychoactive substance, and regular consumption can lead to dependence. The more you drink, the more your body becomes accustomed to its effects, and the more you may feel you need it to function. This can lead to withdrawal symptoms such as headaches, irritability, and fatigue when you try to cut back. It's also worth noting that not everyone metabolizes caffeine in the same way. Some people might experience these effects even with moderate consumption, while others may be able to drink several cups a day without any issues. Listen to your body and adjust your intake accordingly. But all this doesn't mean you should swear off coffee for good. Remember, it's all about moderation. A cup or two a day can still offer the health benefits we discussed earlier without leading to these potential downsides. So it seems, like everything else in life, it's all about balance. Now that we've explored the fascinating journey of coffee in your body, let's summarize what we've learned. From the moment the rich aroma of your favorite brew hits your senses, a cascade of reactions begins. Coffee, with its active ingredient caffeine, is absorbed into your bloodstream, where it stimulates your central nervous system, giving you that familiar jolt of alertness and energy. We've discussed how coffee interacts with your body, sparking a complex dance of biochemical reactions. It can improve various aspects of brain function, including memory, mood, and general cognitive function. It has also been associated with a reduced risk of stroke and certain types of cancer. However, coffee doesn't just stop at your brain, it continues its journey to your liver where it plays a protective role. We've learned that regular moderate coffee consumption can lower the risk of developing liver disease, cirrhosis, and even liver cancer. This is due to the high content of antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds in coffee. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows in the world of coffee. We've also delved into the dark side of this beloved beverage. Consuming coffee in excess can lead to a variety of health issues, including insomnia, digestive problems, muscle breakdown, and addiction. It's important to remember that while coffee can be beneficial, it should never be used as a substitute for a balanced diet and a healthy lifestyle. In the grand scheme of things, the effects of coffee on your body and liver are largely dependent on your personal tolerance and how much you consume. The key is to enjoy your coffee in moderation, listening to your body and adjusting your intake accordingly. The journey of coffee in your body is a fascinating one, full of intricate biochemical ballet. It's a testament to the complex and beautiful machinery that is the human body and how something as simple as a cup of coffee can set off a symphony of reactions. So, the next time you sip your coffee, you'll know exactly what's happening inside your body. Remember, enjoy your coffee but always in moderation.